Hi everyone, welcome back. We are continue, continuing today with the Harlem Renaissance and our objective is going to be to read two poems. Um, these are about power, the power and nature of beauty. So a little bit different than maybe what we've been reading in the Harlem Renaissance. Our author's name is Jean Toomer. I have it, I have heard it pronounced as John Toomer, um, but I will subsequently be calling him Jean. So Jean Toomer of the Harlem Renaissance. Jean Toomer wrote only one major work, but it has been called the most impressive product of the Harlem Renaissance. Published in 1923, this book, Cain, is an experimental mixture of drama, prose, and poetry that includes the two poems that you're about to read today. In Cain, Toomer describes African-American culture in both the rural South and the industrial North using rich musical language. Toomer was born in Washington, D.C. and attended college in several parts of the country. He taught school in Georgia, where he absorbed the sights and sounds that went into Cain. After settling in Harlem and contributing to a variety of literary journals, Toomer turned his interests to religion and philosophy, and he wrote a number of essays on these subjects. Ultimately, Toomer became a Quaker and lived his last years as a recluse. Today, Toomer is recognized as one of the most talented figures of the Harlem Renaissance for his experimental style and his success in capturing both Southern culture and his spiritual confusion experienced by many of the generation. He says, I was neither white nor black, but simply an American. So I included this here because you may have noted in his picture that he looked white. Gene Toomer um, could pass as a white man. He was mixed. And so he even married white. However, he did experience many African-American schools. Um, so he attended and, and experienced life as both an African-American and as a Caucasian, which gives us an interesting perspective into his life. Okay, so before we read today, um, what thoughts and images does the word flower bring to your mind? And the reason I ask this is today we will be reading to discover how Toomer uses images of flowers. 